फौजी कभी अपना मिशन अधूरा नहीं छोड़ता Hey guys, I'm Akshay from Vivom.com, and in the spirit of Republic Day yesterday, the much-hyped Made in India game 4G was finally released. Yeah, there was a lot of hype around 4G, and pre-registrations were off the charts. So, how is the game? Is it worth the hype? Well, I have 4G installed here, so let's find out. One thing I want to clarify right off the bat is just please don't compare this game to PUBG Mobile, Fortnite, or Call of Duty. I mean, this is the day one release of the game, and it's really unfair to compare it to behemoths like Call of Duty. I played this game with that in mind, and I think you should remember that too because this is not a PUBG clone. Okay, so this is the 4G home screen, and there's not much to see here. You see your name up top, one Indian soldier on the screen, and just the important things. Anyway, let's jump right into the game. First, let's take a look at the settings here. As you can see, by default, the game is running on medium graphics on my OnePlus 8T. You can also adjust the sensitivity settings here and see things like the privacy policy and more. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this at the default settings right now and start the game. First off, the game launches into the training mode. But before we get to that, there is a cutscene. Now, this cutscene is based off the actual story of what happened in the Galwan Valley last year. And while you can skip it, I watched the whole thing. It's quite well made, even though there isn't a lot of animation here, but the voiceovers are really nice. And being from a defense background myself, it kind of gave me goosebumps. So, look, there's another one. On the day of the war, the Fauji commandos were not alone. Once the cutscene is done, we head into training mode where you get to learn the basics of movement, camera control, and combat. It's quite simple, really. As you can see, I'm fighting some enemy soldiers here. The graphics are. decent and the combat animations are also just decent nothing very good here one thing to know in this game is that you should always always restore health and all by sitting at campfires because you will die otherwise there are a few bugs here and there especially this one where the tutorial froze because i switched to the weapon before the tutorial asked me to that's a little funny but yeah it is what it is Anyway, once the training is done, you go right into the main story where you are an Indian soldier looking for the rest of his squad and trying to rescue them from the enemy soldiers. Just like it was in Galwan Valley, there are no guns to play with here. You fight with your fists and you can pick up makeshift weapons to attack enemy. Weirdly enough, the actual campaign seems almost exactly like the tutorial. You don't do anything new here and that's a little sad. As you can see I'm going from campsite to campsite fighting enemy soldiers and trying to look for the rest of my squad. I can use weapons to defeat enemies but make sure you only use them for the stronger enemies because the weapons break easily and you don't want to fight strong enemies with just punches and kicks. There are also some dialogues here and there which the character says and even some enemies say throughout the mission and uh, these are quite interesting so check it out. Aur ghus baith hai. Ye yahan kya kar rahe hain? Look, I get what Encore wanted to do with this game, but honestly, this campaign is really boring. All I'm doing is smashing the attack button and there's no planning, no stealth, nothing. Personally, I think this campaign really needs guns because fist fighting gets boring after a few campsites. So, I hope Encore adds guns to the game very soon. By the way, did you know the fights in the game can be skipped by just continuing to walk through the enemy soldiers like I'm doing here? This is just hilarious. Another thing I wish was in the game is auto running. Believe me, you spend a lot of time running in these missions and it's a little annoying to always use the D-pad for it. There's also this thing where multi-touch doesn't really work as well as I would like. For example, if you're in the middle of a fight and you want to quickly switch from fists to using a weapon, there's quite a bit of lag there and I usually got hit by the enemy in that time. I'm still playing the campaign missions by the way, as you can see here, and things are getting more intense. There are a lot more enemies to deal with and blocking attacks becomes more and more important over time. Obviously since the campaign is all there is to the game so far, I'm a bit disappointed because this campaign could have been so good if we were allowed to use stealth in some places and find alternate ways to get to the objective. That said, over the next few months, 4G will get other game modes as well, including a team deathmatch and a battle royale like free for all mode. Those are labeled as coming soon right now, but I can't wait for these modes to come out. I think the multiplayer modes might make this game considerably better than it is right now. 
Moving on, there's also the store here where you'll find cosmetic upgrades for your weapons and you can buy skins and more using silver coins and these coins that are gold coins or stars I guess. You can earn silver coins from the honor road which is basically 4G's battle pass. You progress around the honor road by completing missions and playing the campaign. Right now there's only the free tier of the honor road but there should be a paid pass as well soon which will bring more cosmetic upgrades and probably the ability to earn coins as well. Anyway, that was a first look at 4G and well, this is a little underwhelming. I mean, look, ever since 4G was announced, the hype around it has been unreal. The game got over 4 million pre-registrations and it was clear that people were really looking forward to this game. And even without comparing it to games like PUBG or Call of Duty, this game is just not at the level of the Indian smartphone gaming scene. I mean, come on, the campaign gets boring so quickly that it's just sad. I'm really hoping the developers make some changes here and hopefully the TDM and free for all modes will make things better because this game can be quite good, it's just not there yet. So what do you think about 4G? Let us know in the comments. Also give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.